What's up guys? My name is Mick Penner and today I'm going to teach you how to do the spinning steamroller. In order to do this trick you'll obviously need to be able to do the steamroller and you'll also need to be able to know how to do the fork glide because that's how you're going to be riding out the spinning steamroller. So you might have already messed around with rolling steamrollers in a circle. Or even spinning them. Or you might just be able to do them in a straight line. That's okay. If you don't know how to spin it, I'll tell you what it's all about. So as with most flatland tricks, you'll want to try the trick from a standing position, just pushing yourself off before learning how to ride in or out of the trick. So you'll just get into the steamroller position. Uh, by the way, the spinning steamroller, you'll be doing it cross-handed, switch-handed. If you're leaning the frame to the left, if your dominant foot that's on the peg is on the left, you're going to be grabbing the left grip with your right hand. And if you're on the opposite side, it's going to be the opposite of that. So grab the grip with your right hand and grab the seat with your left hand and just start pushing yourself off. Don't think about spinning the trick yet, just think about rolling and getting used to the balance point of being switch handed in a steamroller. Once you're pretty comfortable rolling in a switch handed steamroller position and you think you can start spinning, what you want to do is get into that spinning steamroller position and tilt the front wheel more towards the ground so kind of push the bar away from you while pulling on the seat. And the most important thing in any spinning trick is to put you, all your body weight in so the only free part of your body that's going to be around is your leg that you're balancing with you want to bring it up bring your knee up to your chest so you'll be like this and you'll notice that when you start doing that you'll start spinning in a tighter circle remember this balance point as that's the balance point that you'll want to lock into in order to keep spinning <laughs> Just keep practicing it until you can do it for maybe a spin or two. Once you can do it for a spin or two, even three, you pretty much got the trick. It's just about practicing it and locking into it for longer and maybe pumping it. So once you're comfortable rolling or even spinning the switch-handed steamroller, it's time to learn to ride in. So in order to ride in, get into your usual steamroller. It's the same ride in as your normal steamroller. Then you want to start going in a circle. So kind of lean your bike towards the direction that you're going to go. Usually it's the opposite direction of your foot that's on the peg. When you start going around in a circle, bring the frame up to here so you're kind of in a similar position to being in a switch-handed steamroller. Now next you want to switch your hands. So in order to do this, let go of the grip, put that hand on the seat and the hand that's on the seat bring it to the grip that you just left and then just do your normal spinning or whatever you want to do out of that trick Now for the ride out. So in order to ride out of this trick, it's pretty damn easy. What you want to do is when you're ready to ride out, when you've spun enough or you've done your combo, what you want to do is put your leg back out so that you slow down the spin and jam your foot into the front wheel so that the bike stops spinning. Lean forward over the bar so the back wheel goes on the ground because if you don't lean forward, you'll start going in a max circle. And you can do that if you want, it's a pretty fun trick. And you can check out my how to for the max circle, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, stop spinning by putting your leg back out, jam your foot that you just put out into the front wheel, put your upper body over the bar so that the back wheel touches the ground, and ride out of the trick like a normal fork glide. This is the easiest way to ride out of this trick. There is loads more ways that you can ride out of this trick, but you gotta learn the basics first. So you can do so many combinations and you can just do so many things with this trick. There are so many possibilities. If you've ever seen pro riders, or even if you ride flat yourself, which you probably do if you're watching this video, uh, you'll know that you can do endless things with this trick. So it's a necessary trick to learn if you're trying to step up your flat game. So this trick is personally one of my favorites. I love doing it. It just feels so good to spin so fast and just do like turbines and stuff with it.
So I really hope that this video helped you learn the necessary steps in order to learn the spinning steamroller. If you enjoyed this video then like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure to let me know if there's any how to's that you'd like me to cover. If there's any tricks that you'd like me to do with the how to's on, I always appreciate your suggestions. And yeah guys, thank you for all the support lately and peace out. So